This budget has been an interesting balancing exercise. Uh, at the outset, before the budget, I said that the worry I had was how was the finance minister going to balance what is already a tough fiscal deficit situation with what was needed to be done in terms of agriculture and rural India. And I think uh, given that tough balancing act, it's uh, no surprise to me that we do have a, a pro-poor, pro-rural, pro-agricultural budget, all of which was necessary. Uh, the fiscal deficit and slippage therein was to be expected. Uh, personally, I, I was hoping maybe not to the degree that uh, he has permitted himself, uh, namely the 3% commitment for next year has now changed to 33 And I would really like to see that he lives with that 33 or does better than it, uh, given his commitment to the FRBM, which he mentioned. Uh, having said that, I think uh, the focus on MSMEs was important. There was uh, a mention uh, last year of bringing corporate tax rates down from 30 to 25. And that indeed has been uh, taken forward with the MSME sector by raising the limit to 250 crores of revenue uh, applicability to companies with 250 crores revenue. Uh, that will cover a very wide group of uh, small size companies who have been hurting under the implementation of the GST post demonetization, both of which impacted them. So this should allow them a little bit of oxygen, a uh, little fresh air, ability to retain some of their earnings to plow back into investment. And the other area where MSMEs will benefit is sectors like uh, fisheries, agri-processing, and the thrust in uh, uh, you know everything from Operation Flood to Operation Green, uh, and encourage them, hopefully, to go into some of these uh, very critical areas for our country, because that's where the linkage between agrarian India and industrial India happens, when food processing goes up, when our ability to bring produce out of our farms and create value through value addition and maybe even export of these products. So pro-MSME, pro-agriculture, pro-poor, very wide coverage of uh, health insurance, uh, which is again much needed because if you look at a rural uh, income package or a poor person, not just rural uh, budget in India, as much as 60% can go into health care. I would just add that it's not just about insurance. There are, again, areas which are critical for us uh, through Swachh Bharat, which mean prevention of disease become important. And that, again, is a great program of the government, which is seeing uh, mentioned through this budget as well. The continuation of the toilet building program, uh, continuation of being open defecation free, even more important, the open defecation free points to behavior change and use of toilets. So these programs remain uh, and get mentioned therein including potable water and uh, uh, areas around the, uh, the Ganges and its villages being open defecation free. So these are prevention of disease spaces along with the spread of better healthcare and R&D in healthcare, which are important. So other than the fact that I think big industry is disappointed, the fiscal uh, deficit uh, uh, being somewhat higher uh, than uh, anticipated, uh, I think it is a very strong uh, budget and possibly along expected lines given that we are going into an election year.